Let me start this episode today with a caveat that I am not a medic. I'm talking about productivity today and one of the things I'm going to talk about today is the brain. I am not a scientist, but there's some things that I do know about the brain and productivity and that's what we're going to deal with in this podcast. In the series we've been talking about the subject of productivity in our lives, how important it is for us to be productive and the brain is going to be central to it. But we have also been talking about recharging the body, recharging the mind, recharging the spirit so we can be productive. Today it is about the brain. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. You cannot talk about productivity if you're not going to talk about the brain. Listen, I'm not talking about intellectualism here. I'm not talking about education and academia. No. Everyone who is productive in their own niche, they are going to have a brain that is (laughs) top-notch, that works. And so I'm not talking about intellect alone. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about footballers. I'm talking about volleyballers. I'm talking about things, people that do things that are actually very productive, but they are not necessarily doing academic stuff. We've been talking about productivity and how important it is for you and I to take some time to rest, recharge, recuperate our lives so that we can become fresh and we can we can become more productive and we've been looking at some of the ways in which productivity is enhanced in our lives but one of the ways one of the biggest ways in which productivity is enhanced is when you take some time and rest this one can be done by anyone uh, okay of course when you're not a slave anyone can do this and we have some reasons and <laughs> some reasons as well we do not take some time to rest people think that there is no money in resting People think that, you know, I cannot directly connect my rest to an amount of money. And some people do not even plan for it. And so it doesn't even have time. They don't even have time for it to come. And so they do not rest. And I have said this like a broken record. That if you do not pay for it today, if you do not pay for it now, you will still pay for it later. And when you do pay for it later, it will be very expensive you'd rather pay for your productivity today and rest recharge recuperate i know of people i know of friends who have so much on their plate they sleep at 11 they wake up at 3 and they repeat the process every succeeding day on and off and they do that and i know i I had this this billionaire this mighty teacher, Miles Mundro, one day he said that you cannot change the world sleeping <laughs> six hours, sleeping eight hours a day, you cannot change the world. And I think if I get my facts correct, he was saying that you, he sleeps for five hours, something like that. Listen, there are some extremes that we can talk about on both ends. You can go to the extreme of having less hours of sleep and rest and you can also go to the extreme of having lots of hours and i do think that miles monroe used to balance the same because if he would be on vacation he would be on vacation and and so on and so forth 
but it is true that we need to be as active as possible so that we can be productive. Here is the key though. It is not a continuous Monday to Sunday, January to December kind of an operation. Yes, we can go for those five hours that he is talking about. But can those five hours of sleep be mitigated by bouts of recharging and recuperation here and there? Like a power nap. And I'm going ahead of myself. I'm going to talk about the power nap later on. Did you know a power nap can recover for you two hours? A power nap of 15 minutes can recover for you two hours or so. Just taking a break from the continuous working, it can recover for you so much you'll be shocked. So we've been talking about the benefits of taking some time and resting. And one of the benefits that we said is that you save on time and you save on money. They go hand in hand. You save on money because you're not in hospital. And some people tell me, but Lawrence, when I take some time to focus on my body, nutrition, I need to buy some mangoes, that's money right there. If I will just be eating starch every single day, I spend less money. And I need fruits. If I need to buy fruits, it will be much more money. If I am to go to the gym, it will be much more money that I am using. How am I saving the money you're talking about? Listen, two ways you're saving the money. One... If you don't pay it today, you'll pay it later. In other words, your body will shut down. Ask Ariana Huffington. Her body came shutting down and she says she saw the floor coming. In other words, she fell headlong. Bang! Because she was working 14 hour days. And she fell and she had a breakdown. The amount of money she spent (laughs) in the hospital is quite a bit. That's what you spend if you don't take some time to rest and recover cooperate and recharge also when you are in hospital guess what you're doing you're losing money because that's downtime things are not happening because you are not working and if you're not working you're not, you're not going to be paid so you save time you save money by resting today counting the cost of rest yeah, i should do a book on that on that counting the cost on rest and actually taking some time to rest. I, I, I think one of the these days I'm going to start a seminar teaching people how to rest. People do not know how to rest. A good percentage of productive people. I'm not talking about unproductive people. I'm talking about a good percentage of productive people the world over. They do not know how to rest. They are chasing the almighty dollar. I mean, they have projects that have been lined up. They have meetings that have been lined up. Meeting after meeting, project after project. And and they are taking on much more work. And they don't have in their mind one hour of rest. It's crazy. Are you crazy? There's so much to do. You're telling me to rest. Let me tell you something. When you do rest even for that one hour. When you come back, and that's what we saw yesterday in the podcast, when you come back, you have a spirit of urgency, a spirit of creativity. Something happens when you are trying to catch up and you've actually gone on a healthy break and you've come back. You have a spirit of urgency with you that is just propelling you to do stuff. You don't have time to rest. You don't have time to linger. You don't have time to paralyze yourself with analysis because you have the spirit of urgency. Today, one of the benefits of recharging, recuperating, it is something to deal with your brain. The brain is a very interesting part of your body and like I warned you, I am not a doctor and so I'm not going to give you medical things about the brain but you and i know that if i removed your brain from you you will not function you need that brain and the thing is that if you do not rest guess what you are killing the brain cells but the brain is an interesting aspect did you know i i heard i'm told that even an adult the brain of an adult still creates new neurons every now and then. 
it still creates new neurons imagine it's still refreshing itself you still get these grooves this this newness this renew the same way as neck uh, sorry to use that example renews her skin as the same way the brain sheds these dead cells and creates new ones even at 80 but on the flip side of it ladies and gentlemen is that if you are not resting you are causing stress stress that is caused on the brain limits inhibits its growth stress caused by lack of rest stops the growth of brain cells at an extreme situation it might even kill it become brain dead huh because you couldn't rest for one minute you couldn't rest for one hour your brain is wasting away slowly but surely because you couldn't rest see the brain is an interesting part because the brain doesn't feel pain the time you're having headache it is not the brain that is having the headache it is actually the muscles in the head that are aching but the brain ladies and gentlemen it gets also exercised as much as the body is exercised in other words when you're going out there to exercise guess what you're doing you are refreshing that brain so you wanna you wanna be smart you want really to operate at a top-notch speed and be creative guess what you need to do stop sitting in one position the whole day go out there and do some one bout of running on the treadmill for 10 minutes and sweat bullets guess what you're doing it is not just the body that is being rejuvenated it's not just the body that is being exercised the brain also it is being exercised when you're eating a nice meal balanced diet it is not just the body that is being fed also the brain is receiving this nutrition did you know that the brain needs 30 percent of the blood 30 percent of the blood goes to the to the brain and the quality of the blood that goes to the brain also matters did you know that there's some chemicals that are in your body when you're stressed look at those chemicals going through your brain and i know i'm not a doctor and you you can actually research and quantify all those things i'm talking about you're having toxicity going on in your brains by not exercising by not recharging yourself by not taking some time to rest and recover and recuperate toxicity goes on in your brain in terms of your blood circulating in that brain therefore if you are going to be a person who is exercising recuperating recharging yourself rejuvenating yourself you're doing yourself a great favor by feeding the brain making the brain healthy and you will not be productive without that thing between your ears the medulla oblongata you're not going to be productive without your brain that is the third benefit you accrue by taking some time to rest recuperate and rejuvenate the fourth thing even as I come to a close, is that rest recovers your body systems and functions. True story. I know you can condition yourself, you can condition your body and so on, but just like a vehicle, you need a brake, you need servicing. And this brake rejuvenates some of these body parts. You get a boost of energy that comes from rest. Stress comes because you're not resting relaxation refreshing comes because you're taking some time to rest and maybe do a power nap and take a break from your strenuous working strenuous mind exertion strenuous body exertion and you're resting those are some of the benefits that you get and these benefits they will accrue into your productivity So I'm making a very strong case in this series that if you are going to be productive, don't feel bad about resting. Don't feel guilty when you take some time to rest and to recuperate. It is part 
and parcel of the success productivity equation. We are going to continue making this case tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.